Hello there, Richard here from the TradeView team. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import your trades. So if you're new to TradeView, once you're logged into your, to your account, you will see this window, which is the dashboard. Um, you will see step number one, import your trades, which is the first step to follow in order to get the most out of TradeView. So with that being said, you will need to go to the top right corner, click on import trades, and then we will go to the import section. So if you're new, you're going to see exactly this window, uh, which is like no broker or trading platform is selected and you will be asked to select your broker or trading platform. In this case, I'm going to be using TradeZero since that is my broker. So I'm looking for the T here. There we go, TradeZero. So once I select my broker, I'll get the instructions located at the right part of the web page and you will need to follow those instructions in order to get your CSV file, which is the file that we import to TraderView with all your trading data. So I've, followed, I've already followed those instructions. And so in this case, you can either browse here for the file or you can also drag and drop, which is exactly one of what I'm going to be doing here. So once I've done that, I'll click on upload. And now you can see a message here on in the top left corner. Your import is queued for processing. So you can click refresh status. And you can see that it's still processing. So you will you can click again. It usually takes a few seconds depending on the amount of trading data you're trying to import. And so here we have it. Your import has completed. 476 trade executions were imported. But what happens if you want to import your trades but you don't see your broker or trading platform in this list? Well, a potential alternative you have to import your trade uh, can be done by using our generic import format. So if you look for letter G in this list, in the bottom of the list, you will see generic import format. So once you select generic import format, um, there will be a link here that you can click. And it will take you to a different section that will explain you all the details you need to know in order to use the generic import format. So one thing that comes really handy with this generic import format section is the sample Excel template, which you can download by clicking here and so after you have completed the generic import format this is a little bit of how it will look like you will have to put a uh, date time symbol quantity price inside for your trades in an excel sheet and then what you have to do is to copy them and then we can import it using generic import format. So for that, let's go and click import traits. Generic import format, it's already selected. You will need to choose your local time zone, which is Eastern, Eastern time for me. And then instead of uh, dragging and dropping or browsing for the CSV file or for the Excel file in this case, you will need to paste the data here in the option number two. So you can see what I'm doing. Basically, it's um, pasting all the trading data with all the um, columns. And so once I've done that, I'll click on upload. And my trades will start to process. And there we go. Your import has completed. 12 trade executions were imported. So as you can see, it's also possible to import your trades even if you don't see your uh, trading platform or broker in the list. So if you have any questions or you need any help from our team, you can always reach out to us at support at We'll be more than happy to assist you.